Hello friends, Debbie with Debbie Gets Crafty and I wanted to do a little bit of a sip and stitch today and today we will be continuing to work on our little cow design and so we'll go ahead and take the picture away and show you where we are. What I did was I went ahead and I parked several threads on my painting on my canvas here so this way we didn't have to go through all that you know going through and starting the the, uh, the threads and such and such so um, but I picked some larger areas that we can that we can work on and I figured you know we'll we'll go through a couple of them you know see how far we get and uh, do a little chat so let's go ahead and I have my needle here on my little uh, magnet and I have some equipment right here. This is an old first aid kit that I had. And it's emptied out and I, I like to use it to store my accoutrement for my stitching. So I have my little threader. I also have my little pair of scissors. And a little finger protector. And I, I don't know why I started doing this, but I took a spare and don't tell me you all don't have if you diamond paint you all have spare pads of wax so I took a spare pad of wax and I went ahead and I fed my needle into it and when I don't use my other needle I feed it in there and when I take it out I just take it out wipe it off and actually it works really well and this way I know where the needles are it's not poking through anything it's protected so that's what I do and like I said I have a million of these pads of wax laying around so I put this one to good use finally. So that's my little package of equipment. So let's get started. And what we'll do is we are going to pick a color. Let me go ahead and I put them on this little clip. This little, there we go. All right. And so let's go ahead and we'll pick a color out. Pick a color, any color. Well, let's do this one first. We'll do this one. Okay. So there we go. We'll separate that from the rest. There we are. All right. And then I'll just take the others and wrap them back up and just attach it to my to the end of my canvas with my little clip there we go all right so I'm going to take my threader my needle threader there we go and my needle. The most exciting parts, right? The behind the scenes. And I'll just thread my needle. There we go. Okay. And I'll bring, bring in so we're a little bit closer. All right. Or maybe. Okay. So we'll see how we do with this because this little thread right here might be in the way. But that's all right. We'll work around it. It'll be okay. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. There we go. All right. So. This is going to get interesting because I'm really not that great with these angles here. So, two. we're very close to the edge of the hoop. But that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. So I hope everybody is doing well today. And let's see here. There we go. 
I'm doing well. Anytime I have a chance to spend some time with my friends, that always makes me happy. The one bad thing I don't like about these, these finger protectors is that they are just, they make the needle stick. Oh, friends, this is an awful angle here. I just worry that this is not going to be a good... No. Okay. And I'm not a fan of um, working without a hoop. I like to work with a hoop. I know, I know, I made the mistake of starting this right in the corner, too close to the hoop. I know, you're all yelling at the TV to me. I get it. I'm brand new. I'm just learning it. And honestly, I'm okay. It's okay. It'll all be okay, I promise. As long as you don't make these mistakes that I have obviously made, then we're ahead of the game. I am a very uh, clumsy person, clumsy stitcher, clumsy at just about everything. And I'm okay. It's all right. So we'll go ahead, and you know what? I am going to take that off completely and move these threads out of the way. I'm just going to move them right out of the way. There we go. That's fine. Now I can work all the way over. Okay, so getting back to the Hot Mess Express that I'm calling this stitch. All right. Probably doing this wrong and that's okay. I'll learn. I promise. Again, this angle is horrible, but it is the angle that we are given. So we work with it. I probably should have put my other glasses on. That probably would have helped me as well, but they're all the way over on the other desk, and I am not going to get them. We're going to work with what we have, and that is A-OK -okay with me, as long as it's A-OK -okay with you. So, this is... This has actually been the project that I've worked on the most. Honestly, I haven't really had too much of a chance to do much stitching lately um, because we have Spoto, our little dog, our 15-week-old Border Jack. He's a Border Collie and Jack Russell Terrier mix. And um, in the evenings, that's usually when I stitch. But, you know, my husband and I both work from home, and so he's got to be in his little um, crate for a lot of the day. I mean, we take him out on our breaks and our lunch. Oh, you're not even seeing that. That's great. Um, we take him out on our breaks and our lunch. So he does have some time, you know, outside of the crate. And of course, when we're off of work and after dinner, we'd like to spend some quality time with him, playing in the yard and cuddling up with him. So I put crafts on the back burner when it comes to my little Spoto. And, but that's okay. So I don't have much of a chance to, um, to stitch. But I do fit it in sometimes. Um, sometimes he is in his crate for a little while at night just to, just to give him a little chance to calm down from, you know, playing and frolicking in the yard and just being a little bozo sometimes. He'll go in his crate for a little bit of a time out just to cool off and wind down. And uh, that gives me some time to put a few stitches onto the canvas. But other than that, I don't really have too much time to stitch. So when I have a little bit of time, I enjoy it. Right now he is sleeping in his kennel 
so. I figure this might be a good time to do a little sip and stitch. My coffee is behind me. But I'll have some in a few minutes. Again, I know, I know. It's too close to the to the hoop. I get it. But it really wasn't that bad to stitch that close to the hoop. And we're just about past it, so I think we'll all be okay. This little cow is so stinking cute. I just love it. She's country. I love all things country. And So she's going to be a nice little addition in my kitchen. Here we go. What's your favorite type of uh, genre when it comes to stitching or diamond painting or crafting and coloring, whatever? What's your favorite genre? I know there's a lot of People that really like the um, the city scenes, like the European, I think it's called European Village or something like that, that I see a lot of people working on, and uh, a lot of landscapes, seascapes. I like anything country, to be honest with you. I am a country lover. So... I have seen some pretty landscape, country landscapes that I'd like to do. But you know, at the rate that I go with the stitching, it's going to take me four years to get this one done, so who knows? Who knows what the next one will be? And then, of course, I still have my one with the Labrador Retrievers that I want to to finish for my husband. Haven't worked on that lately. And I'll be honest with you, there's a story behind the reason why. I accidentally <laughs> used the wrong color on a patch. A fairly large patch of um, one of the labs. So I have to go through, take that out, and correct it. And to be honest with you, I'm just not really looking forward to it. I will. I will get there. I will get it done. Someday. Today, friends, is not that day. So, we're going to work on our cow. And we're going to like it. I love it. If you stitch, tell me what project you're working on. And tell me how long it takes you to typically finish a picture. Not one of those super big, large ones. I mean, like, you know, if you have an average size one, I think this one's like a 30 by 40 or something like that. Something like that. If you've ever worked on a size like that, tell me how long it took you to finish it. If you've happened to work on a huge picture, like that European village is humongous, um... Tell me how long it took you to work on that. Are you finished with it yet? Are you still working on it? I do other crafts, like, you know, the diamond painting and stuff, so this isn't the only craft that I work on at a time. I also have some diamond paintings that I have started, and so I do a little bit of that as well when I have a chance. Just that with little man with our photo, Like I said, in the evening after uh, my stars, I bet you guys are going to love this video with all the times that I've had to move back down here. Uh, with Spoto, we just really enjoy our time with him at night after dinner. We'll take him out in the yard, let him run around for a little while, play a game of fetch, game of tag, game of tug, and just let him run it off. He's got some pent-up energy from being in his crate most of the day, and we understand that, so we just take him out, let him run, let him have some fun. And then we come inside and we all relax for a bit. Usually Spoto will end up falling asleep on my lap.
like I said, I'm a very clumsy stitcher, as you can tell. I'm not, I'm not very, um, I don't know, I don't want to say agile. I'm not very coordinated when it comes to stitching. And I'm thinking about trying a different, I have to wear a little something on this finger to protect it because it really does start to get irritated after a while. And so, um, I might just use a little bit of the um, self-adhesive tape, you know, the kind that sticks to itself, and try that and see if that works. Because this just catches the the, the needle and it'll... Come on, Deb. Good gravy. Really? There we go. And, you know, then I end up pulling the needle off the thread and... You know how that goes and if you don't know well then you're lucky I am uh, not the most coordinated person let's see here oh, I knew it I almost missed a stitch I see some people that are, you know, much more advanced than I literally whip through like the wheels are on fire with their stitching. And I'm like, oh, now that's a goal to have that I can get faster, more proficient with my craft. I'm pretty good with diamond painting. Again, I don't have, you know, a lot of time to work on it. So, I get little patches done here and there, but I'm fairly, you know, I can get a picture done. Like a 30 by 40 I can get done, and I usually only work on it during the weekdays, a little while. So I can usually get one done in a week or two. I know, you probably like, a week or two? What are you, a snail? Well, I don't work on it all that much, so... A week or two is pretty good for me. Pretty good speed. And I know it doesn't look like much has been done. Honestly, I will put my embarrassment aside and I will show you the back. I've gotten a, a little bit more done than, than what it looks like with the, you know, with the different colors. It just hides the work that you've already put into it. So I really am going to need to put my other glasses on next time. I'm so glad I got into this. Um, it's very relaxing. I apologize if I'm not speaking too much, but I'm just I'm getting into a zone. A little bit of quiet time. Just listening to the sound of the needle poking through the canvas and the thread moving through the canvas to me is very relaxing, almost like ASMR. I've been watching a lot of people with their stitch with me and their whips and chats and I just love to listen to them stitching because uh, it just I love that sound. I'm just pulling up some of the thread a little bit. There we go. Pick that back up. All right. And 
There we go. I knew I'd get there eventually. So coordinated. Not. So this weekend, this is May 3rd. So there's three more days until the coronation in England where King Charles is crowned the king. That's very exciting. At least. My sister and I think so. Uh, we have always been fascinated with all things royal. So, she and I will be watching the festivities live. We will be getting up super early. She jokes around. I don't know if it's a joke. I don't think she's joking, but she says to me, Ollie, I asked her the other night, so what time do you want to get up? The coronation starts at 11 o'clock at in Britain. That's about five o'clock our time. So what time do you want to get up? And she says, are we actually going to fall asleep? Meaning Friday night. I was like, well, I don't know about you, sis, but I plan on getting a couple of hours of sleep. And we have a diamond painting that we're going to do. And we each have um, these uh, pens, these diamond painting pens that have little crowns on them. So we're excited about that because, you know, we have to have a little bit of a theme going on. And we could not find, I looked high and low, I could not find crumpets. So the next best thing is English muffins. So we each got a package of English muffins we'll have for our breakfast that day. And for dinner that night, my husband and I are going to have fish and chips. We're looking forward to that. I love fish and chips. But, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to knock into you. But, don't ask me to put vinegar, malt vinegar on my chips. I won't do it, and you can't make me. I don't like it. I would rather eat them plain than to put malt vinegar on them. Now, my husband loves malt vinegar on his chips. Not me. I hit you again. I'm sorry. I'm a klutz. almost pulled the thread off the pulled the thread off the uh, needle wouldn't have been tragic but would have been just mildly inconvenient wow you guys are gonna really love me for slapping around next to you this is not one of my better videos. I apologize. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out a way to make this dang angle work. I don't know, friends. Maybe I'll consider taking the hoop off and trying to work without the hoop. And there we go. We tore that thread right off that needle. Um, working without the hoop, that might help me out. Because it's really a cramp to try to maneuver. There we go. And there we go. All right. And me 
being a little less than graceful. It, uh, there we go. It might help. I don't know. I'll see. I shall see. There's uh, always options available. Since I'm so new, I don't know any better. So we just keep going until we figure out what's going to work. And that's all. I'm sorry if this is one of the more painful videos to watch on my channel. And can you imagine, I just did something such, so boneheaded. That's okay though, we're gonna fix it. We are going to fix it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my thread off my needle because what I did was stitch it straight down instead of diagonal. There we go, easy fix. Goodness gracious, I'm not going to get my skirt in a twist over that for sure. It's my own darn fault. So yeah, getting back to the coronation. So Judy and I, my twin sister Judy, who has All Fired Up Crafting Lounge on YouTube, she and I love all things royal. So we're really looking forward to seeing this because, listen folks, whether you like them or hate them, this is a piece of history. You know, you're... You, if you watch it, you're watching history. And it's just, you know, a piece of history. And we get to be a part of it. You know, not many people can say that they've been, you know, that they've seen the, a coronation. And uh, there's very few people that can honestly say that they've actually seen... King Charles' mother's coronation and King Charles' coronation. So I think that's really neat. I can't say that because I'm far too young. But there's many, you know, there's a few people out there that can actually say they saw on TV or maybe they were lucky enough to see it in person when they were a child to see the Queen Elizabeth's coronation. Wow, that was a sideways stitch if I ever saw. Um... So, you know, it's just, it's history. And Judy and I are fascinated by it. So that's what we're going to be doing early in the wee hours of Saturday morning. We'll be up. We're actually going to do a little uh, FaceTime with each other. Do some diamond painting and watch the coronation. She'll be drinking tea. I can't stand tea, so I'll have a cup of coffee. We'll enjoy our crumpets, our English muffins, and we'll diamond paint. Now let's see if we can't get this one right. There we go. All right. There's hope for me yet friends. Hold out hope for me. That was almost tragic. There we go. All right. And how are we aiming here? Pretty good. Just have to figure out where the heck Hello, come on, there we go. And I chose larger patches to do with you. Um, I've been getting a, a bunch of the smaller patches done around here on the bottom and then saving the larger patches that I could work on with you folks. So this way we didn't have to 
you know, switch colors all the time and everything and just for one or two. I have to say though, this particular picture doesn't have a whole lot. Yes, there are some spots where there's a little bit of confetti, but for the most part, it's not that bad. There's, um, you know, a lot more of what I call, you know, color blocking, a lot more of the larger patches of area that you work with one color than, um, than confetti. And I just, I know this isn't the best video, but I just wanted to spend a little time with my friends. And I thought, this is a new craft that I've done, that I've started, and for me, new, new for me. So I just wanted to share a little time and visit, and I hope you're all doing well. As I said in, in my one of my last videos. I want to try to get a little bit better with um, putting up some content. So you'll watch my journey as I hope to get better at cross stitching. And you know, this is something that uh, it all comes down to what makes you comfortable? How comfortable, you know? I know I'm not the most graceful, the most, you know, the fastest cross stitcher, but I'm doing this the way I can, you know, as far as filming goes. And I cross stitch in a way that I feel comfortable. And that's what it's all about. You have to do what makes you feel comfortable. You don't have to do everything exactly the way everybody else does. Where's the fun in that? That means we're not an individual. My dad always said, do you want to be a follower or do you want to be a leader? Dance to your own, the beat of your own drum. go down here because I can't see that that well so I'll go right down into here there we go see it was much easier for me to do it that way but it still gave me the the correct direction so I'm not mad at that once I can figure out getting one of those um, that's what I need and I spoke about it on my last video I want to get one of those special holders that you can get for the uh, hoops and I think that'll make it a lot easier for me all in good time all in good time. I am in no rush. I don't need all of the things all at once. There we go. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did, friends. Just took out that stitch that I put in. Isn't that fun? Listen, if nothing else, I'm entertaining. You take one look at me and you're like, girl is a mess. She is a mess. Hopefully I'm a lovable mess, though.
can't believe it's May already. It just boggles my mind. Have I done something? I sure have. Give me a moment, folks. Give me just a moment here. I had a little bit of an issue, which might continue to be an issue, which I'm not going to fight. Oh, I'm not going to fight it. There we go. That's where you live now. Had a little tiny, tiny, tiny knot. Not the least bit interested in trying to fight it. So, we move on. The stitch is in the right direction, so I'm okay with it. And the cross-stitching police, well, if they want to knock on my door, feel free. <laughs> I don't care. Because you're not going to see the back of the painting, the back of the uh, cross-stitch, so really... And I hear people say, well, you know... If you knot your work, then you'll get little lumps and you, when you go to frame it, well, that'll be my issue. I knot when I start. Sorry, I keep hitting this frame into my camera stand. Uh, yep, I knot my work when I start it. There, I set it. And I'm okay with it. I do my best to make them very, very, very little knots so as to not, uh -huh, so as to not create any type of a, a bulge on the canvas when it's done and go to put it in a frame and if there is well the glass will flatten it I mean, for me and all my flaws with, uh, and they're not flaws to me, I don't, it's just the way I am, with all the ways that I do these things. I mean, so far, it looks pretty good. I can't complain. I'm not going to complain. I'm pretty happy with it. See? This dang thing sticks. <laughs> That's all right. There we go. I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out.
can get a few more stitches in before we hit the complete end of this thread. And then we'll call it a day because I'm sure you folks have better things to do. And to witness this hot mess express barreling down the track. Well now, that didn't want to behave itself going in that way, so we're going to make it behave itself going in that way. Mission accomplished. So glad I made it back in frame again. <laughs> oh goodness. If anybody wants to know what not to do, you just follow me and do the exact opposite and you will set yourself up for success. Trust. Ooh, I almost lost my thread again. There we go. Getting down to the end. This will probably be my last, my last row. I know I could probably squeeze a couple more stitches out of it, but I'm just, uh, my legs are starting to, to bother me sitting in this particular chair, so I think this is going to be the last couple of stitches that I do with this little piece of thread. Last one, friends. Last one. There we go, and there we go. Well, you know what? I fibbed. Let's see if we can't make it last a little bit longer. hate to waste so we're gonna make this work if you didn't catch my last video I did a little bit of a Timu haul I purchased five diamond paintings and some accessories uh, a set of five project bags and uh, some stickers um, you know labels to put on my bottles when I uh, dye my paint so catch that if you haven't already seen it and you can catch my twin sister Judy and I every Saturday. This Saturday we'll do a little coronation celebration um, on her channel, All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. And let me just go ahead and flip this over. And I'm just going to feed this through. Again, whatever I 
do do the opposite because I'm a hot mess express. There we go. And uh, there we go. So I put it through there. And I'm just going to snip it. And as you can tell, I do a little traveling with my threads and stuff, but that's okay. It's okay. So, a little snip, and we're good to go. So we went and we finished this little patch here with what we had, that one thread. Let me go ahead and bring it on back. go. So we finished this little patch right in here. I'll flip it over. Like I said, I'm not bashful. I don't care. And you can tell I did do quite a bit. It may not look like it on the front, but I have gotten some work done on it. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I'll continue to do some more. But that's my little cow design. And that is going to wrap it up this time for my little sip and stitch. I want to thank you for joining me today. And uh, again, folks, I'm brand new to this craft. I, I don't know it all. I'll never know it all. I don't, I'll never know everything about anything. But I'm a work in progress. And I stitch what the way it makes me feel comfortable. And hopefully I will be able to work on being able to film these stitch and sip, sip and stitch videos that's going to be a little, a little easier for you all to, to watch and a little easier for me to, to film, quite frankly. Um, but I want to thank you for spending a little time with me today. Uh, Please, if you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing if you have already subscribed. I thank you so much for your continued support. Please, friends, watch out for, you, you know, take care of yourselves. Watch out for your friends, your family, and all those animals that you consider your pets. As a matter of fact, look out after all animals. They deserve to be looked out for. And until I see you all again, please take care of yourselves. God bless you. Have a great day. Until then, goodbye.